super cool ball pythons, as well as sketchy blood pythons, only on Muscle Serpents University. I'm here with Rob from Designer Ball Pythons, and uh, we're going to look at some really cool stuff here. You got some interesting stuff. This is a bamboo lesser. Obviously, the bamboo gene and the lesser being allelic to each other. We got a white snake. Right. Um, bamboo seems to be a hot morph nowadays. Yeah, they sell. Uh, they sell really well. Um, still cutting edge, and uh, thankfully they've come down in price to make it more affordable for your average hobbyist. You know, it's been a few years since the upper echelon right. only had them. What did they? What did they cost when they first came out? 25, 30,000. I think the first one that uh, came from I Noah forgot, yeah. uh, to, I think it went to England. I think it went to Crystal Palace. I think that was a six figure animal. Wow. Now, is this, the, this is a visual. That's a visual. Well, this is a visual, I should say, right? Yes. Um, explain what, what makes the pattern. Well, this has no. Are you talking about this yes, one? Yes, yes, let's talk about this one. Uh, this one is actually a super pastel fire spider yellow belly. Okay. A lot of jeans in there. Mm -hmm. Bright yellow, awesome snake. Now, the super pastel, you can tell by the head pattern, obviously. Yep, it's flushed out. The fire tends to lighten the pastel yeah. even more. It gives it more yellow. How would you know there's fire in that, gene, in that animal? Well, a super pastel would definitely be a more blushed animal. Mm -hmm. And the fire definitely just does not take the blushing away. It gives it more yellow, and it just it blows it away. It, it ten tends to tweak the pattern at the tail also. Mm -hmm. And what else is in there? Yellow belly. And the yellow Which belly is, obviously blushes the lower right, part and makes it a, a right. solid. And you also get the check, the check pattern. Now this is a, obviously a, a, a terrific animal because you can make a lot of stuff from it. Yes. And yeah, I mean the, the potential is, is astronomical. I've asked a couple of you this. Do you think that some people are adding too many genes to these animals at some point? Because and and I think they almost start to negate each other after a while. Well, you know, when you start to get into 7, 18 animals, they tend to blur. Um, but in terms of genetic firepower, mm -hmm. nobody's going to not want something that has this many genes in it. I, I, I love this animal. This is a great looking animal. I agree. Do you feel that, you know, the, the holy grail used to be the white snakes mm -hmm. back in the day. Now almost it seems like breeders are shying away from the white snakes because you can't see what's in there when you get a white right. snake. Right. And this one actually has pinstripe as well. And the only way you could see the pinstripe is if you put a black light under it. So you put a, a UV light on this and you can see the, the pinstripe pattern? Right. That's incredible. Yep. That's a cool trick. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at some of the other stuff you got. You got another gene here, the shredder gene. What's the shredder gene? Let's put this guy in here. What's the shredder gene and where did it come from? Okay, this actually uh, was founded by Chad Hulker. He's a good guy up in Virginia. Uh, tends to tweak the pattern almost to a granite. They don't know if there is a super yet, but it tends to put a nice stripe on everything. What, do you, what does it look best in? What does the, the, sh the shredder look best in as far as mixing with other genes? I would say any of the blue-eyed leucistic genes, Lesser, Mojave, Mystic, all, all super, super combos. Is it allelic with anything? You know if not yet. We don't know. It's Let's still see some early. of the combos you got here. Well, this is going to be just about it. I you got the black a, pastel shredder. That's a yep. That's a shredder. This is the shrapnel. The shredder is another one. This was oh, okay. okay. Oh, so we were looking at the shrapnel just shrapnel. now. This yep. is the shredder. Now, what's the difference between the shredder and the shrapnel? Just two different co-dominant genes. Uh, this one was found by Malcolm Pugh. He's out of, uh, I believe, Georgia, and uh, it gives it a granite, a granite look. It also has an incredible looking super. What's the super look like? Super is a very, very busy patterned animal, very dark, with a lot of light, light spots across the top. Impressive. These are impressive. Now, also, I noticed that you have a, uh, not to go back, to, let's go back to the uh, GHI right here, GHI cinnamon. There's not enough to be said about this. I mean, I love GHI. My wife likes GHI. No we have a GHI uh, Mojave, which is the, the common one. This is a GHI cinnamon. Yes. Uh, I don't care what you combo GHI with, every single combo is awesome. Why is that, you think? I, just look at it. I mean, it's, it speaks for itself. It looks weird because it's almost got like, like, like ghost-like pattern in yep. it. Yep, the cinnamon tends to fade out the sides. Mm -hmm. And as this animal grows, it'll become even smokier. Super cool. All right, now let's look at something else that, that's a little more dangerous, which I like. You have some cool <laughs> blood, well, we touch pythons. blood pythons. All right. Bananas. All right, I, I love banana. Can't go wrong with a banana. What's that? This is a banana pastel fire lesser. Four uh, that's genes. a lot of genes in there. This 
kind of revolutionized the ball python market for a very long time. They used to be the holy grail, now they could be in anybody's hands. They are very affordable, and hands down, it's the best looking People single. People complain that, they're, that they've lost value because they were 25 grand, now they're 200 bucks. But the truth of the matter is, I think that's better because now like kids can come around and they can buy one in the hobby. Absolutely right. And if you want to have a, a five gene animal, you still can get decent money for these. Absolutely right. I mean, everybody should have one of these. If you're going to have a ball python, the banana is affordable for everybody and now. we become desensitized to the moments because we're, we take for granted that, I mean, it's still one of the most beautiful morphs, I think. Well, it's because it was sex linked. That's why they tend to go down also. Uh, a male will only make males unless it was produced from a female. Right, right. Well, unless you get a super banana. Unless then, you get a super banana. You can produce half and half. Right? That's correct. All right, let's take a look now at these, at these okay. blood pythons, which have... Uh, may or may not get bit. Yeah, they have a, a reputation for being a little, you know, nasty sometimes. But they're, they're, they're drop dead gorgeous. Do you think that the, the, the reason why maybe they're not as popular with the hobby yet is because of the fact that they have a little bit of a nasty attitude? Uh, a lot of times they actually aren't as bad as they are cracked up to be. Um, this one's actually handleable. She'll tell me when she doesn't want to be handled. She'll get very flighty. She may or may not strike. But I mean, I, I, you can see they're not head shy. Look, look at that. I mean, let's look at the color of this thing. I mean, it's gorgeous. And these and the blood pythons get really thick and girthy, which a lot of people like. Oh, know? yeah. This uh, this could be a five to six foot animal that weighs 30, 35 pounds. That's crazy. Ooh. Ooh, and, ooh, they, ooh. And, they, and there you have it. <laughs> we, we almost got bit. Coming. We almost got bit. I almost got bit at Pete Calls by a black a black uh, one of these uh, blood pythons. And, you know, I heard that the, the more they breed these things and they domesticate them, they seem to be getting a little more mellowed out, are Blacks they? tend to be usually very tame, so unfortunately really? you had a bad experience. Yeah, I didn't uh, get bit though. I got, almost got bit, which feisty. is, almost getting bit is better than getting bit. That's correct. How much does something like this go for? This is a T negative a albino? T negative albino, 550. That's very reasonable. That's a beautiful a, snake. A yielding female, mm -hmm. and she's getting ready to strike again, as you could see. How old do they have to be before they breed? Usually a minimum of three years for males. Uh, it depends on the size for as females, well. Females, you mean? Females, four to five. Oh, really? That long? Oh, yeah, usually. So this is a long, long, long-term process. Sometimes. I mean, they can breed as early as three years, but it's kind of a rushed process. What's the best way for people to get in touch with you? Uh, email. Designables at AOL.com. Okay, do you have a Facebook page? Sure do. Designable Pythons. Check it out. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that's it for another great day here at the 2016 Long Island Repticon uh, Reptile Fair here in uh, Suffolk County, Long Island, my hometown. Got to meet some old friends, uh, so Vin Russo and a couple other, Joe Consolini, and we got to see some great animals. And I hope you guys enjoyed the fair, and uh, make sure if you're in your area and you see a good Repticon Fair, stop in. You don't have to buy anything, but you probably will if you go down, if you come down here, because it's just unbelievable. I actually resisted buying anything. I bought a couple hide boxes, no animals, so I feel like I succeeded. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Dave Palumbo for Muscle Serpents University.